Hi everyone. Today is Friday, November 21st, and this is part of our secret section where we dive into things real quick and hopefully you've gone over a lot of the other information we have gathered for the last few years. Well, we have shown that nearly every month and of every year there was an escalation towards the 21st, the 22nd, and the 23rd of every month. As if the whole world and all the spiritual realms practice getting ready for the end of the age. And then there seems to be a reset. Well, we don't know if there's going to be a reset as we enter this 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. <clears throat> but let's take a look at some of these symbolism all around us that we're nearing the day of the Lord. Today, the new movie called The Hunger Games comes out with Jennifer Lawrence in it and Donald Sutherland. And Jennifer Lawrence represents the woman in the Bible that is actually caught away with the wings of an eagle and it's the time when the serpent's head is bruised, all associated with Jesus Christ. See the woman over here? As she is caught away, it actually bruises the dragon's head through here. Now, in this movie, Donald Sutherland is just like Satan, like Pan, the goat god. He is inside Pan Am. And the woman takes everything down, literally. In the Bible, it's talked of in Genesis. I mean, it's on the third page. This is how far back it goes. Genesis 3, 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. See here? Represents the heel being bruised, and the head of the serpent being bruised at the same time. <clears throat> well, I wanted to show today that Donald Sutherland on the 21st has come out and called Jennifer Lawrence Jesus Christ. Literally. See, Donald Sutherland, Jennifer Lawrence is like Jesus Christ. As we show, there is a balance all around us. It is as a chess game going on, and the earth is going along perfectly by the Bible, both sides working hand in hand. The way the Freemasons show it is Jesus Christ sat at God's right hand. He is the Savior. Satan sits at the left hand, and he is the accuser. See right here, when Michael, see Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, they cast him down, and he's called the accuser right then and then the woman and Jesus go up well I've been showing this for a long time that this character of hers represents the woman in the Bible and Jesus Christ getting ready to, to start the end of days it is Jesus Christ that will begin everything we have her right here like the angel ready to rise the Mockingjay in X-Men Days of Future Past she played Mystique the woman in blue right here and she did the same thing she bruised the serpent's head. She took down a Donald Sutherland type, type person and it started World War III. They tried to change history in this one and they didn't want her to do it at, in this one right here. But here we go. She has been called as Jesus Christ on the 21st. Well, I map out many different things from all around the world and many different hieroglyphs I break down. Nearly all the scholars have not been telling us the truth. Almost all of these from all around the world map out the end of days, and they should. Jesus Christ and the Father created all of the universe. This is the Dendera chart. It hangs in the Louvre. If you look right about here, it has many hidden images, and you can see that this is Obama's eye and his mouth right here as the man of perdition. You can see his mask coming off right here. If you can't see his face, then realize he as, as this pharaoh the same type of Pharaoh for when Moses was during his exodus. But right here is Jesus Christ. And right here is Jennifer Lawrence. Here is Jesus Christ. And he's attached to this woman that gives birth to us on the earth. See how they're attached? She is representing his foot. Right there, you see this guy right here? Jesus is casting down the accuser the Donald Sutherland Satan guy and she immediately is going to bruise his head this event when she does this is going to break half the planet it's it's going to be a giant cataclysm that's what it's going to take to bruise the serpent's head this new arc see how this is like an arc see how she's aimed right at these stars the dog star Sirius part of God's throne and the star of Bethlehem 
and this ark leaves. The ark of Jesus' testament rises. We go up towards this leg of the bull, the Pallades, the seven angels, the seven sisters, the seven golden candlesticks, the seven churches in Jesus' right hand, where God said he had all of the sweet influence of the universe in one place. And then the guillotine start up here after this event. This is why in this movie they didn't want it to happen. See? Because after she bruises the serpent's head, the guillotine started. See how she's like the right hand? And look how Wolverine shows like the left hand over here is like a beast. See there? The same situation. The right hand is mercy and grace. The left hand is facing the beast through there. May God have mercy on us all. See her right there? Well done. Now we show how all over the earth these things are mapped out. There was a shooting over here at the Florida State University just yesterday. And we showed how it mapped out the end of the age coming and the phoenix rising. See this big dog right here? See the big dog? Just like you can see the dog star right here. It's part of God's throne. It's meant to be happening. Inside of here, you can see right here by where this happened, the phoenix rising. Right there. See how this phoenix is rising? And this represents the foot of Jesus Christ, the heel being bruised. And this is like the serpent's head and, and the mark of the beast coming. But I wanted to show something else. See, that's perfect by the lines. I wanted to show right over here. You can see Satan's face real easy. There he is. Exactly as we keep showing him. See him right here? These are his horns, just like his hair. He represents the same thing as this guy. See this guy at the top of the Illuminati box cover with his hair out to the sides? This clown? This is that Satan figure, Donald Sutherland, coming down for his idol worship. See the eagle or the phoenix going up? As he comes down, we go up. There he is. Look at that. I was like, you can really see that. See him right there? Now right here is the eagle. See the eagle? For when we rise, now you can see the boot. So you end up with Satan falling, just as the boot here, as we've been showing. See him being kicked out again? And now we go up as the eagle, and we're sitting on top of the throne up here with Jesus Christ now, as Satan has fallen. See the boot? We have this on another hieroglyph. This is the actual Mayan calendar that they said December 21st, 2012 on. Supposedly it was right here. I showed for years that there was no date on here. I kept saying they're trying to discredit this, that it actually shows the end of days coming perfectly by the Bible, and that the December 21st, 2012 date was a hoax, and nobody even looked at this calendar. They looked at the big round one. This is the real one, and there is no date right here. But that is exactly where you see the boot, and do you see the little horn of the Bible being kicked out, and he gets this sword for World War III. Do you see the boot and him? And then we would be the eagle on top. You can see the phoenix rising right there. And the wheel of the great tribulation. And even a head wound event happening to the Vatican. Like this Roman guy right here. But do you see the boot and him? See the boot and him. And then we are ascended up to the top. And it's even the time of when Michael rises. And when Michael gets up, there's a time of trouble like never was. See, Michael has cast down Satan. We go up as the eagle. Isn't this beautiful? On this, even today, on the 21st, they come out and call her like Jesus Christ. Matching this glyph. There she is, with Jesus. Perfect. May God have mercy on us all. Oh, wow, that's all right there. So let's see if you can just see him. 
This is the main thing. Just see this guy. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. May God have mercy on us all as we near the time to go to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Isn't that perfect? There's his head. There's the eagle. And there's the boot for when he's kicked out. Just like that. Thank you very much everybody. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah. Just like Jesus Christ. There she is. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. There he is, just like the red bull. See his hair is just like the horns as I keep showing. Hallelujah. <laughs>